for best out of five now, or first to three wins. And we're going to take a first. We're going to switch this PSA because I'm sure you don't want to hear from the government of whatever country that was that I accidentally uh, clicked earlier. We will be back. From the moment we met, it felt like we fit. Thank you for showing me what unconditional love looks like. We are better when we are together. My life feels complete with you in it. Oh. There's so many rewards in life. You coming into our home was one of the greatest rewards we could have ever had. You know, it took 20 years and I got my third child who was 17 at the time. After you joined our family, it was like, I really do feel complete now. It's so cool to watch the adult that you've become and you really have done as much for us as you think we've done for you. I just, I ain't never felt so much love before in my life. Thank you. back after the national anthem here. We will introduce our starters here. I think we will. starters for Dixon. I didn't write them down, so please don't ask me who they are. I just kind of forgot already, but we will. I have a roster, so we are all set for set one. And Bourbon will... Be the first to tee it off here as they'll get first set. So front line is 19 and 28. So Haley Chubb and Camelin Baggett. And first serve will go to Bourbon. Second serve will also go to Bourbon. And Dix 
Jackson will pick that serve up. So that's Dixon's first points of this game. And that might be... So that's ruled out as Dixon will tie it up. So Lady Bulldogs once again. We have like four of them on the front line waiting for a... Short return, good job by Dixon, and Dixon will take a 3-2 lead here. Dixon comes in with one win over Russellville, and Bourbon is yet to win a match. It's going to be off the wall, out in center field, but in this sport, that does not count. Dixon is coming out strong, so 5-2 to two lead, the strongest showing they've had in a while here. That is Maddie McBride serving. And that'll make it 6-2 to two early on in this contest. Going to be off the ceiling, which will knock the ball weird bounce, and Dixon will take a 7 2 lead. We do have some high ceilings here, but they're definitely not that high. Hawks glad so eight to two in favor of Dixon as they're building a solid lead here. They did this against Plato and it didn't hold very long. So Make it eight to three. Both teams have good ball control so far. That's going to be out, so Dixon will get their ninth point as they are. Really taking advantage here. First winner out of best out of three, or first to three, not best out of three. And Bourbon will pick up four points. be given their 10th point here as some subs coming in on the bourbon side. At the line is Abby Alexander. And that appeared to be in. It was, so that will cut this lead in half, 10 to 5. Four. That's 
going to be in, so Dixon will pick up that point. No. Both teams trading points now. As uh, more subs on the bourbon side, and serving is Kimla Baggett. And soft touch, but not quite enough, so 7 to 11. Dixon will pick up their 12th point as that will send 28 to the that's Haley Club or a Haley Club I'm sorry and that serve will go into the net so they will trade faults and back to where we started here 12 to 8 score 4 point game the nine now, so Bourbon is clawing their way back into this. That's going to go back here in the scorer's table, and... Twelve to ten in favor of Bourbon. It's going to be out and thirteen to ten, and back to Dixon. So Dixon leads thirteen to ten. Bourbon had to serve the last set. So, two-point game now, 13-11 here in the first set of this contest still. Trading a couple feeds back and forth, but Dixon's able to get it, and they'll pick up the three-point lead, 14-11. to One good thing about this gym is it has air conditioning. And that's going to give Bourbon a free point and cut this within two. Both teams really just trading faults here. Not a lot of action generally. But if that continues, Dixon will wind up winning still. So it's kind of like football. You get the lead, you keep it on the floor, or keep it on the ground, and you run with it. So double hit, 13-15. And Dixon will pick up her 16th point as up to this point Dixon has one win and one set total that they've gotten all year. So they've won a total of three sets so far. Well, I guess technically they've won four sets because of the three. Something you see here compared to bigger schools is the height is generally not there. Yeah. So within a point, 15 to 16 now. Dixon has the 16 points though. That's going to be a. 
Another point for Dixon, so two-point advantage once again, 17 to 15. And that's going to be a foul ball into the cheap seats, so 18 to 15. Timeout for Bourbon. We'll be back after this one minute PSA about I don't remember what this is. From the moment we met, it felt like we fit. Thank you for showing me what unconditional love looks like. We are better when we are together. My life feels complete with you in it. There's so many rewards in life. You coming into our home was one of the greatest rewards we could have ever had. You know, it took 20 years and I got my third child who was 17 at the time. After you joined our family, it was like, I really do feel complete now. It's so cool to watch the adult that you've become and you really have done as much for us as you think we've done. And we are back out of the timeout. So Dixon has the serve. That was Abby Alexander on the serve. That would give Bourbon their 16th point. And Dixon can't hang in there, so Bourbon will have the chance to tie this up. Both teams are hanging in there strong. Dixon will get another two-point push in here. You have to win by two. So this very well may come down to that two-point cushion at the end. That is 28 with the serve for the Lady Bulldogs. That's club. And Dixon extends their lead to three, so 20 to 17. I don't actually know if everyone has to serve. I would assume they would, but as I mentioned, I haven't studied this a whole lot. I am a cross country and track coach, so I can give you mile sports all day long. Actually, quarter mile sports for track. It looks like one will come in for for Bourbon and she may be the tallest one out there. Her and 21 possibly. It's going to be a three point for Dixon so Lady Bulldogs will once again get a three point cushion and they are four points away from picking up a set win. That spike, that will give them a four-point cushion. So remember, though, any mistake or bad serve point will go to the other team. So mistakes really penalize you here. You kind of like if uh, every missed pass was a so into the net. I mean, kind of like if every missed pass in football would be count as a touchdown for the other team. Stakes can be costly. And Dixon's one point away from closing the first set out. They did have a win against Plato. I do remember that now. Or when they won the first set. So, 24 to 19, but Dixon sits in a good spot. That is Lisa Martin. She's a freshman. 
And she had the either luck or misfortune of being on a basketball team of mine. Probably misfortune. And Dixon will close this out. We'll be back in about three minutes with more volleyball. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I wasn't sure if I could do it. I'm a 40-year-old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but the teachers, the counselors, they help you. One of the teachers was Miss Araceli. Miss Araceli, she gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing and she'll come over and she'll sit there with you until you get it. Thank you, Ms. Araceli. I know you make a difference in people's lives because of the person and teacher you are. I wanted to be here because I wanted to thank you for helping me get a beautiful gift. 50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. Getting your high school diploma, it is a life-changing experience. It really is. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. I don't remember how it started. Oh. Oh Our back and forth. Victory. Fumble. Repeat. It always came back. <laughs> Dad! Okay, here we go, throw it! <laughs> yeah! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. Nice. And we are back for set two here, I believe, as they're sorting things out. And Dixon will begin with the ball. So Dixon picked up a win in the first set. Open this with a point. It's a good job by the Lady Bulldogs so far tonight as they have come out and really done what they needed to to win that last one. get that so we're tied one to one and that will give bourbon a two one lead now Be good save by Bourbon. And Dixon will knock this up at two apiece. Looks 
Campbell from the 19 serving at the line. Good dig by Bourbon, and it's going to be a out of field double over the wall, but in this case, it counts as a point. Good job for Brooke Easterling as she is adding, going on her possibly her third point here. Long serve. And another one out of bounds, so Dixon takes a 5 2 lead early. If you'd like to have your business featured in one of these broadcasts for your support of the Lady Bulldogs, let me know. Send me an email or give me a call, something of that nature, and we can work something out as the money, some of the money will go back into the Dixon School District here for, haven't figured out the reason yet, but it will go back into the district. Maybe lunch, maybe scholarship, could be... You know, I hope I could do many things. It just depends on sponsorships and things like that. That's going to be a drop in bound, so 6-3. to three. Still in favor of Dixon, though. He could be the sponsor of the floor cam. I am looking at getting a better camera eventually. And too hard on the return, so six to four in favor of Dixon. Feature here along with Sec Security Bank of Pulaski County or American Family Insurance. That's going to drop in, so Bourbon will get lucky on that point and come away with that. Dixon thought it was out. In one point here. Still backward spin on the ball as Dixon takes an 8-6 lead. So Lady Bulldogs. That is Baggett serving. And somehow the ball got over the net. That one's going to be a column there as or double hit. So nine to six. So Baggett going for her second point in a row. We have a Reserve, I guess, so communication issue. I have nine to six on my score, they have eight to six. Be 
out, so I guess now it's nine to six. Shovel serve as Bourbon will take a timeout. We'll be back after this one minute PSA. I don't remember how it started. Our back and forth. Victory. Fumble. Repeat. It always came back. <laughs> Dad! Okay, here we go, throw it! <laughs> yeah. You probably don't remember what you told me. Perfect. But I heard every word. Nice. And both teams are out as Dixon will serve again. We go into the net, so we're back to a three point game. the Bulldogs, so 10-2 to two now. And ten to nine. Dixon will give another two-point cushion as they're able to, to stave off Bourbon for a little bit here. So once again, a three-point game still in favor of the Lady Bulldogs. I think we have a rotation issue. So Reese, oh, that is a point four Dixon. So that will give them four points now. So that will make it 15, 14 to nine. <laughs> the math didn't work right. favor of Dixon. Now we have 15 to 9, so six point lead, biggest lead of this match for the Lady Bulldogs. That's club back serving. As I mentioned earlier, I don't actually know their way they rotate for serves. Kind of have an idea for position, but at least the old fashioned PE volleyball. Sometimes not very competitive. And that will give Dixon a 16-9 lead as they're on their way to get a 2-0 lead, which is only the second time this year, if they can do it. Oh, 
and we're going to have Dixon on that. So a little confusion there. I wasn't quite sure where that was going either. I guess they ruled interference on the net. And we have a timeout. We'll be back after this one minute PS. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I wasn't sure if I could do it. I'm a 40 year old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but the teachers, the counselors, they help you. One of the teachers was uh, Miss Araceli. Miss Araceli, she gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing and she'll come over and she'll sit there with you until you get it. Thank you, Ms. Araceli. I know you make a difference in people's lives because of the person and teacher you are. I wanted to be here because I wanted to thank you for helping me get a beautiful gift. 50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. Getting your high school diploma, it is a life-changing experience. It really is. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. So Ready Bulldogs are waiting for Bourbon to get set as they will have the serve. They lead 17-9 late in this second set. How much volleyball is mistakes cost you in points? And that will double up the lead for Dixon as that gives them a big cushion with even with a few mistakes, they're still able to hold on to it. Please remember these contests are at our sportsmanship related here, so please show the best sportsmanship you can while you're at high school and any games really, because your, your sportsmanship shows your students and other people. So that makes it 18-11. Stixon still leads by seven. They're gonna have to get over that 20 point hump to be safe here. And that'll push them close to it. That'd give them 19 points now. Martin will come to the line. And there's the 20 point hump the Lady Bulldogs need, so now they just need to play good, solid defense and avoid mistakes that will give the other team points. Lisa Martin, a good basketball player, also, as long as volleyball. And Bourbon will come away with the point there as a little off on trajectory. Thirty or three comes in for ten. Ten comes in for three for Bourbon. And looks like I think twenty is serving. Good dig. And Bourbon will get within seven. So the Lady Bulldogs are not quite out of the doghouse yet. Time Bourbon came within a couple, but Dixon was able to ride it out and they won. So that cuts it down to five now as this makes it a much tougher contest. But that will give Dixon a one point present and Four more of those, the Lady Bulldogs will come away with the second set win here. Presents are always good, and that's going to be, we'll just call that one an ace. Not quite sure if it's a literal ace there, but... So two points away, and Dixon looks like they're going to pick up two sets here as 
that'll put them in the position to possibly pull this off with one more win. We'll go to Bourbon. I don't know if anyone's a Lakers fan, but the Lakers are really hitting it off right now. That will be out, so game point for Dixon. Or set point. Dixon will pick up that win as we'll be back in about three minutes with more volleyball. I don't remember how it started. Oh. Our back and forth. Victory. Fumble. Repeat. It always came back. <laughs> Thank you. Dad! Okay, here we go, throw it! <laughs> yeah. You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. Nice. And we are back for set number three as Bourbon will come out and serve on the front line. We have 19 for Lady Bulldogs East Coast and looks like the other two are hanging off the line for a long serve. That's going to be out and Dixon will pick up this first score. So Lady Bulldogs, a good start so far. And good. good shot by Bourbon, though. Dixon's still able to keep it in play. As Dixon will get a 2-0 lead here. They currently lead the series 2-0, so win here will finish this off as a final win. As that will get away from them, so Bourbon will get the one point. Bourbon, in order to win this match, now has to win three sets in a row, which is definitely tough for both these teams as they're both evenly matched up. That's going to drop in, so Bourbon will get a ace on that. Good serve by Bourbon. Bourbon gets a second ace in a row. 21 is definitely having a very good matchup right now. And Dixon will tie it up, so 3-3. Three to three. And looking to pull off a sweep here if they can.
strike for the Lady Bulldogs, so Dixon will take a 4-3 lead in this pivotal third game. Second good save. Dixon on the same side. They're able to send it back across the net. Look for the spike. A little bit of trouble there. We're going to have a. So Bourbon will wind up getting the point there as both players were in the net at one point. Almost like an appearance on that. However, Bergen will get the point. That's going to be a long drive out of bounds, and we're back knotted up at five apiece. We have. Soft serve over the net. That was... I don't have number six on my roster. Is that six right? That is a number eight. That is Alexander. And that's going to be a long line drive in foul territory. So, six to six. Dixon will, so three line, three line drives in a row there. Number three for number 10 comes in. Speaking of line drives, the Lady Bulldogs were playing softball earlier today. I did not have an update on that score. As soon as I get an update, I will let you know. Tomorrow is football. I will be here broadcasting the junior high basketball game. I will. I might make it to the football game. Yeah. Actually, I don't think there's a local game going on. I think Lebanon's away. Rolla's game's canceled, and Waynesville is in Bolivar. So I will have a footballless Friday night. Another one a little hard, so Dixon has the two-point cushion once again. And if I move the camera to their side before I switch, it might help a little better. It's too hard, so lots of overpowering hits right now, but Dixon still is hanging in there. Quick substitution for Lady Bulldogs, or for the Lady Warhawks. And two-point lead once again in favor of Dixon. Martin back for the Lady Bulldogs. Three-point lead for Dixon as they are doing what they need to to build this up and possibly come away with the win tonight. So Two-point difference once again. For Bourbon to win, they have to win three straight sets. had a not sure what happened there we had a 
complication issue out there, and Dixon got the point after the foul on the, the right bleachers over here. And hard hit by the Bulldogs, so 13 to 9. And we have a timeout. We'll be back after this one minute PSA. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I wasn't sure if I could do it. I'm a 40 year old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but the teachers, the counselors, they help you. One of the teachers was uh, Miss Araceli. Miss Araceli, she gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing and she'll come over and she'll sit there with you until you get it. Thank you, Ms. Araceli. I know you make a difference in people's lives because of the person and teacher you are. I wanted to be here because I wanted to thank you for helping me get a beautiful gift. 50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. Getting your high school diploma, it is a life-changing experience. It really is. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. And we're back, and I believe Dixon still has the ball. They do. It is 16 McBride on the serve. And as quick as I can get my camera over there, the ball is too much for bourbon to handle. So 14 to 9. a little too much so six point lead biggest cushion of the game for Dixon right now and back to five into this. I think I almost matched the Misha colors perfectly. So just like that, the Lady Warhawks are back in this competition. Point lead again. Real challenge. Once you get over twenty, you have the advantage in this in this game. So Dixon is three points away from that cushion for very high chance of the win if they can hit twenty. Dixon will extend their lead to six points. Timeout, so we'll be back after this PSA. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better 
But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 290,000 participants here in Missouri who take part in high school sports or activities. Coming back, the Lady Bulldogs have 19 to 12 lead with this being the final set here. It's going to be out, I believe. We haven't had a decision yet. So we have a free serve, I guess. So no decision made on that. get that off the reserve. And the ball will take a trip to bleacher land, I guess. Still have one. I don't know if the janitor's ever figured out where it went. Lost one up in the ceiling yesterday, or two days ago. That's going to drop in. So, a five point game once again. Dixon just six points away from winning this game tonight. He's really got to clamp down on the defense, though, here, and can't make mistakes. So that will give Dixon 20 and push them close to where they need to be. And there's 21 for the Lady Bulldogs, so four points away now. Dixon is three points away, and barring a major comeback here, the Lady Bulldogs will win this. And mathematically, Dixon has a nearly guaranteed chance to win. And this will be game point for the Lady Bulldogs as it is not even 7.30, so it has been a very good short night. And Bourbon's able to stake off the final shot so far. We will end this 25 to 15. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back here for basketball tomorrow. Have a great night.